Hello, Paulo Santamania. Kind of chilling out in the studio tonight. I was um, trying to come up with some ideas for a new song. And I pulled out the old Roland sampler from the 90s, the S760. And I was kind of messing around with this um, CD-ROM called uh, Distorted Reality. And this was a classic CD-ROM, still is. It came out in 1995, and I actually bought a copy a few years later, around 97, 98, I bought Distorted Reality. It was created by Eric Persing, which is, is one of my favorite sound designers, really talented guy, I always liked his musical taste. And he did a lot of um, sound design for Roland products of uh, the 80s and 90s and 2000s. He created this CD together with uh, Ryland Allison. And I still remember because um, there was a, an article, I think it was Keyboard Magazine, where he listed all the, the, the machines that they used to, to create this CD. And I was really intrigued. In fact, I bought, I remember buying at least one or two of the machines that were, they were listed there. I remember he talked about them SRV 3030 Roland processor, I remember buying it. <laughs> and it was a great, great reverb processor. They used a lot of uh, machines, a lot of samplers, a lot of um, synthesizers and samplers. And also, yeah, here's the list, uh, well, I don't know if you can see it. A lot of um, synthesizers, drum boxes, uh, software processors, signal processors, uh, and also one of the earliest uh, CDs to utilize soft synths like uh, Logic um, and uh, Turbo Synth, the sampler, and uh, others. In 1995, it wasn't common. Trust me, it was there. Remember, all these machines were very expensive. And so this CD was one of a kind and had a great success in the world of synths. And a few of the categories um, in this CD include uh, ambient, bells, drums, humanoid, mallets, uh, orchestral effects, and of course, pads. And um, so yeah, this was um, a very popular sample CD, still is, and um, it really triggers uh, your imagination. This was also recreated in partial content in one of the Roland uh, SR JV80 series um, expansion boards. All right, enough blah, blah, blah. Let's listen to some sound demos. And notice that there are two samplers here, but um, this is an Ensonic EPS, but it's just being used solely as a MIDI controller, no sound coming from the EPS. All sounds come from um, the S760 with samples loaded from uh, Distorted Reality on uh, this CD-ROM drive here. All right, the first sound is from the ambient category and it's called Iceland One. This one is called Solia.
All right, a few more sounds from the ambient category. This one is called Lost Horizon. This one is called Creepy. This one is called Taj Mahal One. All right, here is the beats category. Just a few of the beats on the CD. This one is called Insomniac. Bone and Burn. Pig headed. White trash. Trip Hoppin. Ring Hopper.
Funk on Fire. And Hardcore 2. All right, let's do a few from the humanoid category. This one is called Wild Ways. This one is distressed. Let's do a couple more from the pads category. This is a beautiful, beautiful patch called Mega Pad. The modulation wheel opens the filter of the 760.
and this pad is called Ethereal. As you can imagine, we only scratch the surface of what this uh, classic sample CD can do. There are so many more categories and special effects and sounds and synth basses and uh, moving backgrounds. Very cool CD, 20, 20, more, than, more than 25 years uh, from its release. Uh, over the years, I collected several of this Petrasonics uh, CDs, such as the Heart of Asia, the Heart of Africa, the Bass Legends. So I will uh, feature the other CDs in uh, future videos. As always, if you have any suggestions or requests, please let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to, to make videos about it. Thanks for watching, as always. Please share, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you.